I think we should, what, get into Elton John next? Yeah, the, the banger. Finish with the Looney Tunes? <laughs> yeah. This one's going to be good because we got to actually, to actually listen debate. to the song. So uh, next one we got up is Elton John. This was Kooks' pick. All right, so uh, I do have the songs queued up. I'll play like 10 seconds or whatever. So if you just cue to me when you want me to play it. Just give me the old... Okay. The old finger flick. Sounds good. Do I start because it's my topic? Yep. Okay. Let me get rid of all these. So what if I want to go last because it's my topic? That's not mm, how it works. Nope. You get first pick, so you yeah. have advantage, <laughs> you go so you got to argue first. All right. Sounds good. So, in the debate of greatest Elton John songs of all time, there is only one clear-cut winner, because he does have many bangers, but the general consensus has to be my pick. Tiny Dancer, written by Sir Elton John and Bernie Taupin from the 1971 album Madman Across the Water. Uh, it uh, actually didn't have a ton of commercial success when it first came out because it's a six-minute song, so they had to do a radio edit. Um, but I'd say the biggest resurgence of it was in 2000 during the sing-along of an amazing movie, Almost Famous. Uh, with good movie, man. Cameron Crowe. Very good movie. That's one of the best movie sing-alongs of all time, bar none. Uh, why is this the greatest song of all time? It, it's weirdly uh, huge in pop culture now. It's referenced in songs by David Guetta, Lana Del Rey. It's been covered by Dave Grohl and Adam Levine. Uh, it was in a 2015 John Lewis advert uh, when Ed Sheeran sings uh, Driving at 90 down these country lanes, Tiny Dancer inevitably is a song that comes on in the car. This is a classic song. It's out at the piano. It's a ballad. It builds. It grows. If I sing Blue Jean Baby... What's the next lyric? Everyone I knows. fucking roll my eyes. Everyone knows it's L.A. Lady. Everyone knows it's L.A. Lady, my friends. Uh, the whole song is about about free-spirited girls in California in the 1970s. Eric, I know you can fuck with that. Um, All right. I know you can fuck with that. It's a classic song. It's a timeless song. It shows an instrumental uh, aspect to Elton John that these guys' songs both don't have. Uh, and that will be my opening statement. And let's hear a few seconds of that. We're only allowed to play a certain um, ten seconds. Alright, that's all we got. That's all we're legally allowed to play. <laughs> I looked that up, and even the rules on that were very slim. So, yeah, let's just, let's just keep it simple. All right. Uh, Eric, you want to go next or me? I'll go next. So, for mine, I chose a little little ditty that's not as popular as these two, because um, just because a song is overplayed as fuck doesn't make, doesn't make it their best song. Uh, I picked Island Girl. Um, came out in 1975. Song, sorry? Island Girl. I've never heard of it. Well, it's, you're about to hear a clip from it, and it's a fucking heater. Uh, I looked. I didn't really know much about this song. All I know is that all I know is that um, me and my dad play it when we're drunk, and it's fucking good. It came out in 1975. I looked up what it's about. It's about a girl who comes from Jamaica and finds herself in a life of prostitution when she moves from the island, even though she could have found a good man back in Jamaica, and she kills the guys after she has sex with them. Is what I got from that. And what I get from that is that Elton John can take an unfortunate situation and make it into a beautiful song. So if that doesn't tickle your fancy, then you're fucked in the head. And my song is not overplayed like a motherfucker, like yours too are. Well, it's tough to play such a racist song sometimes. It's right. not racist. It's just, got a, it's just got a dark message, okay? But it's a fucking... It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a banger. Play it. So yeah, it's a good song. Um, it's just a very fucked up message, and I didn't realize it was that when I picked it, but <laughs> I'm trying to make the best of this. <laughs> all right. My up? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is there anyone else in here? All right. <laughs> I want to ask you, what do you think of when you think of two lines fucking? 
Two what? Two lines fucking. Two lines fucking? It's, can you feel the love tonight? Oh, two lions. Oh. What did you think I said? I thought you said you lines. Said lines. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant, I was like, with two, like, two lines of, like, well, truth. It's the same word. <laughs> oh, you picked, all right, you picked this song. I thought you were going with Rocket Man. No. No. Either. I picked, can you feel the love tonight mm. from the 1994 Lion King soundtrack written by Elton John and Tim Rice, I believe. I don't have my notes again. Yeah. Isn't that guy a football player? <laughs> That's something other. Terry Rice? I don't know. Jerry Rice. Um, <laughs> Terry Rice? It peaked uh, number four on the Billboard Hot 100, as well as number one in Canada and France. Won Elton John the 67th Academy Award for Best Original Song, as well that year the Golden Globe for the same category, as well a Grammy Award for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. I mean, when you think of this movie... You think of this song. You think of Elton John. When you think of the soundtrack, you think of Elton John. I think of this movie, I do not think Elton John. Well, you are weird, okay? Because that's what everybody thinks of. It's lines having sex. That's it. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's it. That's it. I'll two, play a little bit of it now. Two, feli- two large feet lines fucking. Yeah, sick animation on it. Oh, that's some 90s. He's yeah. a Jedi hologram right now. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but watching the video and it's fucking. All right. It's pretty sad. Alright. I'm now gonna put up the poll as we get into the debates again. Look in the poll in the chat. Shout out to the 26 viewers right now. Everybody chat Holy. right now. We'll get an achievement. Guys, invite some people. Let's hit 30. I don't know if we've ever hit 30 before. Just say we did on my uh, video game stream when I got raided. Thank you, nice. guys. We hit over 30. First time ever. Nice. Uh, yeah, Dave, Dale made a good point here. Uh, I try not to think of Elton John when I'm feeling the love tonight. <laughs> That's how you get limp dick. No, you think of Simba and Nala. <laughs> I don't want to think of two, think two, two cartoon cats either. going you think at of it. cat penises, how they're clawed. There's got to yeah. be a, like, you know what, there's like that sick an, like sick anime porn. There's got to be. There's so, Rule 43 of it, for sure. Or 34. I, uh, I just wanted to. What did you say? What is it called? I, I, Rule 43. What so, the hell is that? It just means there's like sexual things about everything. Oh. For okay. uh, the arguments, um, the chorus, A Violent Girl by Sir Ellen John. <laughs> island Girl, Black Boy Want You in His Island World. Uh, also, hey. the last Try word. That. Well, she's black as coal, but she burns like fire, and she wraps herself around you like a well-worn tire. All right. <laughs> what year was this written? Yeah, man, it's 1975. There's going to be a little yeah. bit of racist I'm undertones. Not, I'm not saying he's racist. I'm People just, just discovered those are hilarious Jamaica. lyrics. A uh, couple points on yours over here. If we are going to vote for an animated Disney movie... Uh, soundtrack song. We're talking about Phil Collins and Tarzan. We aren't ever talking about Elton John first and foremost. Nope, maybe you aren't. And also, Tarzan uh, sucks. For the people voting, Dane literally switched to this song like an hour before the show, so even he doesn't think it's the best Elton John song of all time. It was just because two days ago I was really into Still Standing, okay? And then I, I got over that, and I was like, no. You just listen to it too much, and you're like, no, I don't care for this anymore. <laughs> you're like, wait a second. No, I'm blinded. Uh, basically, your fucking Lion King song, that's, in the movie, that's the part when, like, Timon and Pumbaa are, like, losing a friend. That's like seeing, like, a guy go into, like, a shit relationship. Be like, that's... well, we're never going to be seeing that fucking guy ever again. He's, gonna <laughs> get some about... of that, he's getting some of that Nala puss. He's not yeah. coming back. It's about a kid becoming a man right there by getting that Nala puss. Yeah, but then he loses to his two friends. <laughs> yeah, they... they come back, they leave the jungle with them, and no, they, no, they no, kill no. a hyena for him. No, man. That's why they did the spinoff of Timon and Poom with like the cartoon show because they're like well we lost our buddies so <laughs> <laughs> gotta have a spin off it's, like it's like the Joey of Friends kind of situation they tried, they tried he to never belonged thing. in the jungle okay he belonged in the Sahara on the rock um yeah, Tiny Dancer, overplayed as fuck, though. Holy overplayed man. as fuck. I, I remember the first time I overplayed saw Overplayed as fuck. It's the only one that didn't chart. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's overplayed like a bastard. <laughs> you were just listening to, like, Adam Levine voice covers of it in the living room. Well, that was automatic play That's how after the live edition. Is. Yeah. Uh, Island Girl, Classic man? songs do get overplayed. Island Girl, I honestly had never heard it. I've, I've heard 10 seconds of that. Uh, yeah, you're going to go and download it. <laughs> I haven't you're heard go... Island Girl till you brought it up. 
And it's a fucking banger. Uh, here's how we'll know if Eric tells people they have to vote for him when he comes to chat is if Island Girl wins. Because it has a 0% chance Absolutely of being zero. considered the greatest Elton John song of all time. And this is how we will know. Full on if Eric coerces the chat. <laughs> uh, I just know my dad and my uncle are going to vote for me. <laughs> say, my my uncle Jeff loves Island Girls. What album is it on? Uh, the what awards The 1975 won? one. It was uh, number one in the UK in 1975 <laughs> and in 1995. Walt Disney what was like, we album. need the most beautiful voice ever to sing the most beautiful song ever. Are you talking about Tarzan again? the most again? beautiful movie ever. <laughs> talking about Tarzan. It's The Lion King. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, <laughs> I think that's all we got. Tiny Dancer. Is, <laughs> I knew is this a, one was going to be a small debate. Yeah, Tiny Dancer is the only song that has any musical merit of these three. No, that's like something... People play at karaoke nights, and you want to punch that person in the face for choosing that no, song. It, well, here's the thing. Popular songs uh, are usually popular for a reason, and this one wasn't popular because of the radio. It was popular because it was a good-ass song because it was too long for the radio. And that's almost, a fact. Almost that's Famous. A fact. That's not a good movie. That's an what? overrated movie. No, you're that's a really lying. good movie. No. Now you're lying for the sake of a debate. Cameron Crowe's trash. And, you know what? You, you, if I, I get an argument, but to just blatantly lie. Billy Crudup. Looks too That's much like my dad guy. in that movie, so I don't like it. <laughs> he's, okay. got that, he's got that coon look going. He's got that coon look going. All right. Any other final words? I feel. I like don't know, man. It's just up to preference for this one. Yeah, I think. My uh, song slaps, though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive home. There's 31 to viewers. 31 vote viewers. on the poll before we end it. Yeah, vote everybody right now. Right now. Right now, vote on the poll. Best Island Elton John girl. song <laughs> out of these Island three girl. songs. As well, legit. If everybody just types "hello" right now, we get an achievement on Twitch. And it doesn't mean anything really, but I want it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, everyone type hello. I Every will... single one of you can type hello. I have to do that please. thing. I want that achievement. I'll do it too. Yeah, we want achievements. It doesn't help us at all. We need like twenty five people talking at once. Hi cuties. I thought we did it once, but all right. All right, I'm gonna end the poll as we're all nope, saying nope. hello right now. I just gotta let everyone know that Island Girl slaps. <laughs> Literally she kills people. I think Island Girl might have won. Shut Island up, Girl, it. eleven votes. Tiny Dancer. Six. All right, so we officially Can know. Can you feel the love tonight? Zero. That the polls don't mean anything. You guys, <laughs> like that need is to... what we. I learned. lost the first one, <laughs> and one. I had more it's confidence true. in One Fish, Two Fish than this than Island Girl. But, but all you gotta do is play Island Girl, and people the the vaginas just get soggy. Hey, if you voted for Island Girl, say so in the chat. Doesn't so... it just tell you on the thing? No. No, it doesn't. Tell. Put on Island Girl because I won. I want to listen to it again. I'll play another tiny little bit. Play it. Right. Play, play the beginning play, keep, part. Don't keep going. No, play the, the beginning part. Line is next. This part here. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Once I heard it for the first time, like two days ago, I was like, "This is a banger." Yeah, man. This song is fucking deadly. But definitely, have never heard it before two days ago. Well, I'm trying to. I'm bringing it back. It's gonna be on the charts now <laughs> that I've brought it back to life. <laughs> uh, Brock, good point. The polls mean less than the points on whose line it is, and is it anyways? <laughs> this is a fact. I love it. <laughs> this is a fact. Uh, uh, Eric, when you invite people, do you say, vote for me, we're on a date? <laughs> yeah, you just say that very specific. I tell people to go with their gut. Okay, I, tell, <laughs> you know, I say, you go know. with your gut. No, because we've had four people say, I vote for Eric before the voting started, too. <laughs> it was like my mom and my uncle. So now I say you need to listen to the argument. Okay, don't vote for me this last one or else I'm going to get fucking right. yelled at again. Go with your gut on the Looney Tune one. Another quick 60, 30 second ad.